Hello guys, so in this video, I'm going to share with you how I am using this tool called uh, Keywords Everywhere. So it's a keyword research tool, which is, you know, cost effective because as you can see, they have this uh, plugin. Uh, if you're going to install this in your browser, so you can uh, install the Keywords Everywhere plugin in Firefox or Google Chrome. So they have it available. Uh, but before you use it, so I'm sh showing you the configuration. So you just click this settings right here and you will be landed into their page. Okay. So what I always do here is I keep everything switch off. So as you can see, first I go to miscellaneous settings, switch off everything, okay? Credits usage, switch off everything. Supported websites, switch off everything because it's quite risky to turn on this one. Once you start searching on Google or YouTube, it will consume a lot of credits. As you can see, I've got 98,000 credits remaining and it's cost effective because it will just cost $15 their minimum fan and it will give you 100,000 credits and uh, those 100,000 credits you can consume that within a year so expiry is one year so yeah it's quite uh you know cost effective affordable for us who are trying to save money for a keyword tool because you know ahref right now 30 percent increase from their 99 dollar lowest plan so it's quite expensive for us normal people who are trying to you know build seo for our websites so here uh, let me show you so remember just turn off everything switch off everything so that's the safest way you can start using keywords everywhere now uh once you have a uh, completed configuration which i showed you go to google and now for example you have your niche ready okay and then do a keyword research for example my niche is about microscope for kids so here in google search i will type this one right here, best microscope for kids. And as you can see right here, it will show you the top, you know, your top competitors or top websites, which, you know, ranking for these keywords right here. Now take a look at one website right here. So grab this, for example, this Optics Central. So click that right here. So once you're here in your website, what you need to do is uh, click this keywords everywhere tool or plugin that you install on your browser. So click that and you will see right here, as you can see, organic uh, ranking keywords URL. That means in this particular page, you will see all the keywords available for this uh, particular page. Okay, not the entire domain. And they have this organic keywords domain, which means it will show the keywords available for this uh, main domain, which is opticcentral.com.au. So let's try first the organic uh, ranking keywords for this URL alone. So that means this page only. So you click that as long as you're on that page. So as you can see right here, it's grabbing this uh, opticcentral.com.au Microsoft magnifiers. So this page alone has two keywords right here. So you can see microscope for 12 years old, microscope for 10 years old, which are pretty good keywords to use as your, you know, uh, to write a blog post and target these keywords right here. Now, uh, going back to that page right here, let's try now this organic uh, ranking keywords for the domain. So you click that. And as you can see, it gave us the top 1,000 keywords for this key, uh, domain alone. Okay. Now, for example, your uh, your niche is microscope, so microscope. So as you can see, you can filter down the microscope right here. It will show you the top keywords that are ranking for this domain. So as you can see, they're pretty good keyword. How to prepare a microscope slide? What are the stereoscopic microscope used for? What we can do is export the CSV format right here. So once you export it clearly, uh, you will clearly see all the keywords that you may want to use to write blog posts. So for example, let's select some of the interesting keywords here, how to prepare microscopic slide, what are stereos in uh, stereoscopic microscope used for. These are the five selected keywords that I got from my list. So I just simply copy them and then go to my favorite article AI generator tool and, you know, gen start generating your articles in the start generating them okay so let's wait for some time so let's take a look at some other you know websites that are ranking uh for this uh keyword right here so let's say for example this kids microscope for sale which is quite interesting one and again we do the same thing so click this uh plugin right here and first we check what are the keywords ranking for this particular page so we click that let's wait for it to load as you can see it's got more keywords ranking for this uh uh, page alone. We've got those microscope for 10 years old, best beginner microscope. Now I'm going to show you one more strategy which you can use and it's very effective. I always do this strategy to get more keywords. Here uh, in this page, for example, again, we will click these keywords everywhere plugin and this is one of their, uh, you know, best uh, function right here, get top ranking pages. And if you click that, 
So here it will show you the pages that are, you know, getting a lot of traffic right here for this domain. So if you see right here, what you can do here is first extract this to CSV. Okay, export that to CSV and let's open it. So once you have them open, you will see right here these pages and also the blog posts that are ranking, okay, and we, which are getting a lot of traffic. What I always do right here is I, I will collect those uh, interesting pages, for example, five tips of viewing bacteria under microscope. And then uh, let's check some more. Um, just hang on, guys, because this uh, strategy I'm going to show you will be very interesting for you. So uh, let's say this one, microscope parts, um, application coin, have microscope collecting. So let uh, get those uh, you think which uh, can create a blood post. For example, this one, how to calculate a field of view from microscope. So uh, seven common types of chemistry. Okay, so let's copy them and let's see them. So these are the four URL uh, we captured. Okay, which we can, uh, you know, create as a blog post. So what I'll do right here, uh, uh, we will be using this prompt, for example, get the last string after the slash from the URL, which I will paste below. Okay, and it will extract the title of the blog post. So you can go to uh, ChatGPT. So copy this prompt right here, go to ChatGPT and paste it there. So it will ask you uh, to paste the URL. Okay, so now go back to your sheet. So this spreadsheet we copy the four urls that we think uh, we can capture the title of the post and paste that right there okay so as you can see uh these are the uh blog post of the uh the title of the blog post from the extracted url so at the same seven common types of chemistry how to calculate field of view for your microscope okay uh you can still just give me the list the plain list okay so you can simply copy and paste them Okay, now, uh, for example, you paste 10 or 20 URLs, so it's up to you. This is just an example, so I just paste four URLs, so you can simply copy that. And again, uh, go to your favorite uh, generator to, again, create, uh, craft a, you know, wonderful article for you to rank on these keywords right here. So for me, uh, this uh, article AI generator, okay, so which, uh, you know, really saved my time. So I'll just, you know, generate these four and wait for them to get generated. Now, as you can see, some of the uh, key uh, articles that we generated earlier, so look at this, how to make microscope slides. So this is a really great article if you have a uh, you know, niche website talking about everything about microscope. So look at the way it uh, created the articles. It's really nice and you know, it's not a crappy article that you can just generate from somewhere else. It's well formatted, SEO friendly. And this one right here, what are the two types of illumination used in stereo microscope? So really good keyword right there, which we will won't be discovered ourselves unless we try this strategy. So look at how it structured the article right here. We've got the bullet points right there. And yeah, yeah, it's really structured properly, uh, you know, and uh, the way Google will like your uh, uh, article, okay? Now, yeah, I think uh, that's about it, guys. So, uh, guys, if you haven't subscribed yet, because on my next video, I will have a really interesting video for you. I will make a keyword research automation process for you using make that con so that will be very interesting and it will help you uh you know automate your blog with a keyword research everything that that you wanted okay uh you just you uh with just a minimum effort you can create that workflow which i'm going to show in my next video so subscribe guys so you will be updated once that video is live and yeah it will have a lot of information for you and yeah thank you if you're uh if you feel that this video helps you uh please leave, uh, leave a like and yeah thanks for watching